guys welcome back to another episode of feed the beast sky adventures with me i am Haley, and we are picking up sometime after we left off it's been a while guys and let me just go through some things we're just going to jump in and talk about what's been going on so we are on the search for eggs and i have tried everything i can think of to get animals i have been sitting in this area for about four days <laughs> not really but i've left my computer up for so many hours uh went to the store uh, i didn't do the work because i'm usually at work you know about 10 hours and i don't want to leave my computer on that long but for hours and hours and hours i have sat here hoping that this little area over here will produce some kind of animal watch the show now no 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 nothing nothing this entire area that can be grass is grass and this entire area is a plant i took a screenshot <laughs> i didn't mean to but this is plains this is all a biome of plains and i made well i didn't make that one maybe i need to make that one grass <laughs> i don't know but uh, i haven't had any luck i've got some feedback and apparently it's christmas now you can see all the all the chests are presents and uh i didn't acknowledge this but uh I've got a Santa hat and wings. I've got little wings. Yay. So this episode will come out the day after Christmas. But Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays for those that do celebrate. And if you don't celebrate, just hope you had a good day off if you were able to enjoy it. Okay. So what we're going to do. Like I said, I got some tips that um, some people have said they've got an egg from loot crates. And um, I don't have a lot of loot crates here uh, just because I haven't completed a lot of quests because I've been focusing on this literally for the last, since we left off the last recording. So there's a chance I can get an egg in a loot crate. But we're going to go from a different route because even if I get an egg, I'm still stuck because the cooking quest here, I still need steak. Or I need mutton, pork chops, steak, and chicken. I need meat in order to complete these quests here. So in addition to the eggs, I still need meat. And there's no animals spawning. Luckily, I have found that I can get cooked pork chops, steaks, and eggs in scrap boxes. Egg, oh, egg. I, uh, if I look up here for just a regular egg, it can come in this thing called a scrap box from Industrial Crab. It's a small percentage chance, but as long as I've been waiting for this other stuff, I, I'm really going to go for it. I just don't have any other options. Uh, well, I do, but I don't. <laughs> um, guys, give me feedback on that. So a scrap box is made from scrap. You just need nine of these. And to get scrap, you're going to make this thing called a recycler, which it looks like it just recycles a whole bunch of items. I ne have never used this before, so this is going to be totally experimental. It looks like I can put flowers in here and different kind of blocks in here to get scrap. So I just need nine of these to get a scrap box to get a chance at getting an egg. And like I said, steak is also a chance at getting steak from the scrap box. So we're going to work through that. Now to get this, we need to make something called a recycler. And the recycler is really easy to make. So it just requires a couple of iron ingots, some dirt or pods oil, glowstone, and a compressor. Compressor, somewhat easy to make. Uh, we just need a basic machine casing, which is just iron plates. And iron plates is just iron and a hammer. Now I haven't made this yet, so let's go ahead and make our forge hammer. Uh, let's see. I believe it was that and what's it that nope wait i had to make the forge hammer i need to make a forge hammer that i've got to go the wrong way. okay so we have a forge hammer and we're going to make eight iron plates now everything i've made here i gotta remember it has emc i need to learn it because i only want to make things once if i have to so let's go ahead and now make eight iron watch well, you know what just make one iron plate and we're going to go ahead and learn that and i should be able to grab those out of here plate uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, very easy to make. Oh, I didn't get enough. Uh, six. Now, uh, eight. There we go. So I have eight of those. And now I just take this into a chest pattern. And now I make a basic machine casing. This does not have EMC. But we can easily make it if we need to do that. All right. So we've got that made. Um, uh, let's see. Now I just need stone. But you can get stone. But now I have to get these electronic circuits. This is where it's going to get tricky. The recipe for electronic circuit requires redstone, which we got, iron plates, which we now we know how to make, and insulated copper cables. That's going to require us to get some rubber and or plastic. I've done research, and it's actually easier to get plastic 
in this than trying to get rubber. Because if you look at the recipe for rubber, uh, I need to either have a rubber chicken, which I can make a rubber chicken if I had an orange chicken. I don't have an orange chicken because I can't get a regular egg. So we're going to go back and we're going to look at the other options for, just want to make sure you guys, and I'm not missing anything, I need to smelt some sticky resin, which only comes from forestry, which we are nowhere near to try to make that. And... Um, Let's see, I can get it from scrap, but we're trying to get scrap. Everything else is pretty much smelting sticky resin, or I can do the extractor uh, from a rubber sapling, but I don't think we, have we got a rubber sapling? Hang on, I didn't even think about that. I do have a rubber tree sapling. Uh, I've already started the other one, so we could do it that way. But anyway, we're gonna do it the other way. We're gonna get plastic, and the best way to get plastic it's kind of a process. We need dry rubber, so we're going to have to go through this process. And it doesn't really tell you in the book, so I'm just going to walk through it here. In order to get plastic, first you need to make a tree fluid extractor. And uh, this is really easy to make. Actually, this is probably one of my, I won't say favorite mods to make right now, because it's it's just easy, essentially. That just requires stone and iron gear. Iron gear is made like that. And a furnace and redstone. So this does not require power. All it does, you stick a block in front of it, some kind of wood block in front of it. So let's just grab some oak wood. And you can have this set up where it's constantly, pull, you know, like have a block placer or something in front of it, where it's constantly putting a block here. And as long as it's a block here, it's basically going to extract the fluid out of it. And I have that fluid going directly into a latex processing center so if we look up here latex processing center uh basically that's just iron furnaces a machine frame which is just iron tin gear all this is really easy to make uh so the latex process center does require power so i've got my furnace generator over here putting power in here and you can see the latex fills up on this side here what you also have to add is water and i'll do that it does require a bucket of water now you can set it up to automatically put in water if you have a good water source um i'm just going to grab a bucket here so you can see it but yes you can go ahead and put water in manually and you can see it takes that entire bucket of water to produce one tiny drop of rubber one tiny teeny teeny, teeny sorry a tiny drop of rubber so we're going to take the tiny rubber and we're going to turn that into dry rubber that's nine nine of those dry rubber i need one of these and if i smelt this and a furnace. I don't have a furnace over here. Really? Wow. Again, this doesn't have EMC either, but hopefully, can I, can I just use you real quick? It turns into plastic, which does have EMC. So now we've got plastic. We never have to go through that process again to make plastic because we're going to learn this in our table. And Linda did comment that uh, the tables are by person. So if I did make another transmutation table and set them around the bases, uh, then I should have access to everything I've learned. And the EMC should also be I think EMC should also be there. But I can turn this into a tablet, which we're going to work on a little bit later anyway. All right, so what did I need? I needed, I needed plastic. And what we're trying to make, again, is the recycler. I wish this had the bookmark in it. It would be so much easier. All right, so to get this little electronic circuit here, we're going to need insulated wire cables. These don't have EMC either, so we're going to have to make a bunch of these. But we're going to make copper cables first, which is just made from copper plates and wire cutters. So let's get us these plates out. Uh, get up there. Click in the right spot. Plates. Let's see, I need three of those. And... We're going to go ahead and make the wire cutters first, which I believe this was the recipe. All right, that has EMC, so don't forget to learn it. All right, so now we're going to take a, a what's that, copper and smash it with a hammer. And I'm going to go ahead and learn this, so I don't have to keep doing that. And then I'm going to cut this with the wire. Now this doesn't have EMC, so I actually need a bunch more of those plates. See, that's why we learned, plates. All right, let's get some more copper plates. And I think I need six total. And I need some more plastic as well. And I'm going to need some redstone, which I have. So I think that's everything. All right, let's go ahead and do get six of these. And we're going to put this with the plastic. So we have six of those. Now I can make this. Yeah, make sure that doesn't have EMC. That doesn't have EMC, but I can make... Oh, crap, I need one more iron plate. Uh, plate. 
yeah the things that don't have emc i'm a little disappointed about but it's okay because what we're ultimately making we don't need to go through this process anymore now i can make wait now i need uh, did i bring i didn't bring any stone with me uh i believe it's just stone i hope it's just stone all right so we're gonna make this no wait we're going to make this the compressor and now I need dirt and glowstone. <laughs> Let's put these back in here because I don't need those anymore. So I need dirt, uh, regular dirt, always got a good stack, and glowstone, I believe I've learned as well. And I think I need, uh, I don't remember everything. Is that everything? Uh, I need iron. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this. All right, so now, we have our recycler. Now it says power tier one. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. Now I know with industrial craft, I have to be careful when I break these items uh, because if you break it, and it doesn't have EMC either. If I break this by itself, I, I will have a chance in losing it. So however I set it down, I need to be really sure that that's what I want because I need a, I think I need a wrench or something specific to break it. I don't know if it needs power, so let's set it down. Uh, let's see, looks like it does need possibly some form of power. Let's see. Uh, it said power tier one. Again, I've never worked with this before, so this is all kind of experimental. Um, it says now when we looked at it, it says we can just put just anything in it to recycle. So let's put, I just want to put some cobblestone. I don't want to put anything in there. It's too expensive. Cobblestone is worth one EMC each. And this is yeah so it does need some form of power so industrial craft let's look at the let's look at that mod and let's see there are generators in here but i wonder what it needs for power power tier one oh, power tier one generator there we go um okay so that doesn't look that hard to make it just requires a battery which requires some 10 casings so i need to charge it up uh insulated 10 cables which would be plastic in there okay so let's make this an iron furnace have i already made an iron furnace don't think i have okay so let's get all the items we need here to make uh, a generator tier one. Uh, so we're looking industrial and generator. Oh, G E N. There we go. So I'll just have this one here. What is that? Petrified generator. Okay. All right. So let's start with the iron furnace. It looks like it's just iron plates in a furnace. So we should be easily able to make that. Let's get us some plates. Let's go and get a stack of that and one furnace because we're going to need more of these. Okay. So uh, generator, iron furnace bam now we have the additional place and now we need to kind of go through this recipe for a battery it looks like there's two kind of batteries in here uh one's just charged and one's not charged okay re-battery okay so let's see what we need to do to make that redstone we can get and so let's start with the tin cable wire i think we pretty much know the recipe on that so we're gonna need some wire cutters uh, do my wire cutters did I not learn the wire cutters? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just called cutters. Okay, whew, it's getting worried. Let's get some tin and let's smash it. Let's make a plate out of that. Cause that's got EMC. So we want to learn what we can. And I'm, I think I just need one. Okay, gives us three when we cut them. So that's fine. Um, Okay, so we just need one. Okay, so we'll put a little plastic with it. All right, so that seems easy enough. We just want all this for recycling, all this metal just for recycling. Okay, so now we got this. We have three of those and we're trying to make this battery. So to make the battery, we need to make the 10 item casings. Oh, well that's easy enough. That's just 10 plates. And how many of those do I need? I think I need four. So we'll get some more plates, okay. Oh, it's not as difficult as I was worried about. Let's see. Two more plates, three plates. I don't know how many plates I need. Uh, let's see. I think I need two. Yeah. So let's, do we have enough to make it now? Just want to make this battery. Uh, generator, battery. 
Oh, redstone. Really? Redstone? <laughs> Always a missing an ingredient. Okay, now. So we have a battery. And now we can make the generator. Okay, so let's set this down next to this guy. And let's see what we need to do to power this bad boy up. I think we need some kind of fuel. So I'm going to guess it's coal. Listening to Haley kind of work her way through this process. Uh, if I put coal in here. Oh, whoa. Okay, that works. And that's powered up. And that's recycling. Okay. So we're going to find out what happens. Now, there's a couple things I can do. Basically, I want to end up waiting a long time. Oh, we got first piece of scrap. We're going to need a ton of this. So I want to find a way to automatically pull this stuff in here. Now, we can either like set up a cobblestone generator. But what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to grab this log chicken. You're a 10, 10, 10, right? Are you? I don't remember if you are from last time. So let me go grab an animal net. And I'm just going to set a roost on top of it just so it can constantly make some stuff. Let's see, I should have another roost. Yep. And let me grab a net because that's all these little guys are good for pretty much. And I'm guessing it has to go into the top. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we're going to transfer pipe here in just a second. Uh, let's uh, grab this little guy. Come here uh making sure amber yeah so nothing special this is definitely a 10 10 10 chicken uh so we're gonna put him in the roost and we're gonna put the roost on top of the recycler and hopefully we can start recycling this automatically uh with what we have so what i need i need a transfer pipe uh transfer node transfer pipe and i believe I put the pipe on top first. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, I kind of want to put, this is kind of weird. Uh, can I do it? Oh, I can. Okay. Now I want to break the pipe. Actually, I want you to go the other way. Come on. I turn the other way. We've got what? Just a few more minutes here, but you guys kind of get the gist of what we're working on. Now this way, this way. Can, can I stand on top of it and do it? This way, this way. Come on, jump. Oh gosh, come on, seriously. And that. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right, now we're going to put the transfer pipe here because we want it to extract. And I'm guessing, why am I jumping? Why am I jumping? <laughs> I'm guessing it has to go in this little part here. Okay, and we'll put our chicken. Where'd he go? He's. I'll have to turn him into a regular chicken. Hang on. Uh, hatcher. Okay. So let me drop him. Okay. And turn him into that chicken and put him in here. All right. So now he'll start producing logs. I think I have the extra one. Are you a 10, 10, 10 also? I believe you are. Let's find out. Yeah, so I can stack these two up. I can make some more because remember you can stack them up to 16 and uh, that will allow them to uh, make uh, make pro items, products faster. So let's see if it's going to go up to 60%. That's automatically going to go in here. Looks like we got six pieces of scrap. Come on. Show me what you got. Yes. Okay, so that will automatically feed into there. Awesome. All right. So we still got a ways to go uh, because we're going to, it's only like a less than 1% chance of getting, um, of getting these items. <laughs> so we're pretty much going to be sitting and waiting. But while I'm waiting, uh, we're going to go through some quests that we can do. Now we're still trying to get a thousand dollars. So we have to get as many quests in as we can. We need these, we need these colored eggs. We need these colored eggs for a lot of reasons, which means we need regular eggs. A lot of, say a lot of reasons. I want to start breeding chickens because I'll have the materials that I need to start making these metals. Uh, I can start doing tinker stuff and I may actually end up doing, getting a tinkers. Uh, do I have tinkers in this? I'm quite sure I do. Tinkers. Um, do I? Yeah, I have tinkers. Yeah, because I have tinkers, uh, the stuff over there. So I might make a smeltery and kind of set that 
over here and that's why I can start making alloys that way. That's one option uh, to start getting these additional metals that I'm going to need. Now we're still working through the magic tree. Uh, we're trying to get the red matter furnace and I think we have enough EMC to do that. So I spent a lot of time on this to see. Oh yeah, I've got extra red matter in here. Let's see if we can make this red matter furnace. Now, this was the tricky part. I can't break this furnace here, the dark matter furnace, but to make the red matter furnace, cause I need that for an item. I need an extra dark matter furnace. How did I do that? I got all the red matter I need, but I need it. I learned a dark matter furnace, but I didn't have enough I didn't have enough EMC to get it. I think I do now. 4.1, if I put one of these in here, yes. Dark matter furnace, <laughs> thank goodness. Okay, so now I can make the red matter furnace. I'm not gonna set that down because I'm gonna need that for a quest and that was worth $50. Now, this does consume it. So I need to learn it before I, I do anything. That is gonna consume it when I claim that quest, but it's worth $50 right now. But I need that in order to make the energy collector, which is really gonna give us passive EMC. So energy collector, uh, tier one requires terra steel. So that's what we're gonna be working on next, guys. Block of terror steel is what we need. So I'm going to end the episode for right now. Uh, in between episodes, I will go ahead and advance in Batania to try to get the agglomerate or <laughs> all the stuff I need to be able to get the terror steel. And then we have one additional item we need. It's the hardened cingulum glass. And that's going to be kind of tricky too. We're going to need some fused quartz, which we can get that. That's just smelting quartz in an alloy smelter. Uh, the, the blends here are probably going to be a little bit trickier. So we'll work through that as we can. But guys, right now, I do want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and you're enjoying this series. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, techniques, or just want to say hi, leave a comment down in the comment field and I will get back with you as quickly as I can. Ooh, we got our first scrap box. Woohoo! <laughs> and unfortunately, these don't have EMC either, but we will work our way through that to hopefully get some animals and some eggs. Let's see, for our first scrap box, let's go ahead and break it up. I got a bone. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Oh, have I already learned that? Oh, I haven't learned the bone yet. So that was actually kind of helpful. Uh, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell to be notified when new episodes come out. Now, if you want to hang out with me and any of the other squad members, you can do so by becoming a Patreon. Down in the description field, you'll see a link to the Patreon. You can read about all the awesome awards. Now, it's the end of the month end of the year oh my gosh guys can you believe that by the time i record another episode we will be in a brand new year i'm so excited about that it's a, a great time to become a patron there's so many different things you can do we have so many servers you can choose from we have six 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 servers <laughs> No, not six to six. Six different servers you can choose from. Click on the link, learn about the awesome awards, uh, what you can do, hang out with us, chat with us in Discord, all that fun stuff. Now, if you want a server to play on with your friend, go to Host Havoc. Use that link down below so they know that you came from a squad member. All right, guys, we got a lot of waiting to do. I'm probably gonna make some more log chickens just to see if I can speed this up a little bit faster. This is pretty much like the EMC when I'm just putting garbage in here and letting it recycle, but I've gotta let it poop a lot faster. Poop faster, chicken, poop. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.